Hello, members one and all of the Salvation Nation. And uh, we all know that silver is something that is probably one of the most diverse metals in terms of it being used in so many different areas that affect our lives on a daily basis. And for members in this community, it's especially uh, amazing and important because we tend to look at the uh, quote, investment or hedging side of silver and the collector side of these precious metals. But we also are aware of silver's use as an industry and, uh, and in jewelry, in the medical field, and, uh, and also we are aware of the properties of silver and uh, atomically. With that being said, Donald from, in New Mexico sent me a link to an article that talks about the Silver Institute's conference on silver. And there was going to be an industrial conference to examine the established and emerging industrial uses for silver. And I think this is quite important because I think it will have quite an effect on the collector and stacker side as well. Because, as we know, the prices for silver and gold even they are affected by their industrial uses although more so silver than gold and i think that's primarily one reason why we see such a large gap in the silver to gold ratio with that being said this conference was announced and they are registration will be open for these for this conference which will be held in washington dc on october 26th and 27th and the theme of this year's conference, which I assume they have these every year, is silver's evolving role in science and technology. And silver's use as a chemical catalyst and as a growing component in photovoltaics and the automotive industry will be examined. Emerging uses in areas such as advanced electronics and silver's role in modern healthcare will also be discussed. Given the significant role played by industrial applications in the overall demand landscape for silver, the conference will also include a session focused on the analysis of broad market trends affecting industrial silver demand, a perspective from one of the world's leading refiners, and will conclude with a panel discussion featuring key industry executives. And the participants of the conference will include executive and experts from across the silver supply fabrication and end-use sectors worldwide. Attendees will include personnel from industrial fabricators, miners, refiners, bullion bankers, technology companies, startups, and government agencies. The Civil Industrial Conference will be held at the Embassy Suites Hotel in downtown Washington, D.C. The preliminary schedule includes an opening reception on the evening of October 26th. Maybe I can crash the conference. It would be kind of cool to check out, for sure. A more detailed look of the program was released later. And there will be the topics on Silver Market Overview uh, by Bart Malek, the Global Head of Commodity Strategy from TD Bank. Silver's Role in the Automotive Industry by John Bozella, President and CEO of Global Automakers. Silver and Electronics by uh, Philip Newman, Director of the Metals Focus, and that would be a really interesting thing. It's such a broad topic with silver electronics, so wide-reaching from the new iPhones to TVs to um, anything in between. Silver and healthcare, past, present, and future, and I'd be really interested to see the future uses for silver in the healthcare industry. That is going to be held by Trevor Keel, Director of Agility Health Tech. Silver and the ethylene oxide market. Interesting application from Brian Vanderwilp, business director of CRI Criterion, and how the silver refining industry helps to fuel industrial demand. Another market analysis by Jason Rubin, president of Republic Metals. Um, the silver lining providing a safe water supply, and uh, that's from Teresa Dan Kovic, chief technology officer from. Folio Water, Silver's Role in Solar Power Technologies. That would be an interesting one to see how that technology is going to uh, emerge and continue over the following years, especially with the threat of 
of aluminum replacing silver is a lower cost solution that I've heard previously. That's by Larry Wang, Global Product Manager from Horaeus Photovaltaics, Photovaltaics Business Unit. The conference will also feature panel discussion on the outlook for silver and its role in the industrial sector. And there's a list of the panelists there. And so it's going to be interesting to see the conference. Uh, the end of the conference, we'll see what their analysis is for the future of the silver and the demand. Because one thing that kind of um, uh, scares me a little bit about the, the technology with use of silver is the fact that with typically what happens with these applications is less is more in the case where especially solar panels where they may need less than they able to do more with less to get the same result, which means that demand for it will decrease. And uh, how will that play in the markets? As we know, silver is by and large, and most of the silver that we see is a byproduct of other metals. Uh, and we all know that there's plenty of silver out there. And so there's, there's enough to meet demand right now. And my worry, if there's a lack of demand, what will happen? Will that silver to gold ratio increase even more? Could it decrease because there's less demand for industrial applications? Less will be produced means there may be an increase in demand for collector stacker um, applications. So we shall see. It's quite interesting and fascinating. I wish I could attend this conference. It is actually uh, quite pricey. It's $395. Um, for the average person, anyway, um, for um, somebody in the in the know for a conference, that's really not a bad price. Uh, but for someone who's just curious to check it out, it's kind of a lot of money to spend. Then you have hotel reservations and the like. I could probably just drive up to the conference and not have to worry about that. But nonetheless, it's uh, quite interesting uh, and neat that they put this out there. And it's great they have this to kind of assess to see where. Uh, the market is going for silver and uh, what is its outlook? What is the outlook for silver in the coming year with technology and other trends? So post your thoughts. Thanks again to Donald from New Mexico for sending this information along to me about this. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe. <music>